The last time the Toronto Raptors played an NBA game was March 9th against the Utah Jazz. Just three days later, the NBA suspended their season over COVID-19 concerns. But could the Raptors be heading back to their training facility? Siakam flips it up and backs it home. 30. The NBA announcing that starting May 8th, players in states without state home orders can go and work out with no more than four players in the building at a time and that social distancing measures will be in place. But what does this mean for the Raptors? You know, no matter what the league wants to do, are they going to be allowed to do it based on not only local governments, but then state or provincial governments, let alone then federal governments? And, and that, to me, opens up a whole uh, potential can of worms, or at least, uh, at least opens up more questions, specifically when it comes to the lone Canadian franchise, because then we're now also talking about um, international uh, governments trying to come to some sort of agreement as it might relate to the border and whatnot and bringing guys across the border just to practice let alone if we ever go down the path of are we now talking about games so there's there are so many layers to this Lindsay that I'm, I'm not even sure what to think at this point. Toronto Mayor John Tory says that he has had some conversation with the Raptors about the potential of them reopening their practice facility. I have had some very initial discussions with uh, the management of the Toronto Raptors. They have indicated the basis upon which they might use their practice facility, which is located at Exhibition Place. And now uh, those discussions will happen in earnest with respect to uh, whether or not those can be consistent with public health objectives and uh, with everything else that has to be taken into account in making a decision like that. Today, the province announced their three-step plan to reopen the economy, saying that large group gatherings such as concerts or sporting events will be on hold for the foreseeable future. Lindsay Dunn, City News, Toronto.